Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with our Red Tail Zoo as usual on Friday. Now this video, um, it's a little bit different. I know that at the start of this zoo I was, you know, bragging about how I would only do animals from the tropical biome and yet here we are placing hyenas. Purely by the fact that I got so inspired by this little tunnel, and I was like, you know what? I feel like this is a hyena tunnel because hyenas, they always, at least in the zoos where I go, they always walk past the glass and past, and past the fence, you know, every single time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put a hyena in here. And to be honest, no, they're not really the, you know, the animal you think of in tropical zoos. But then again, I believe it actually worked out pretty well and I'm, I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. And I think that in the end, the hyenas actually, uh, they kind of have a place in the zoo. Now, as you see, we are uh, sometimes having a little bit of a lag, uh, unfortunately, and I think that has to do with the fact that I put so many plants. Um, like in the last episode, I put so many plants there, like so, so many plants with the jaguar habitats. And obviously we are right next to that. So if you haven't seen that, there will be it will be linked at the end of this video. You can click on there. Don't worry, you don't need to watch it now. Watch this video first and then watch the other ones. That's, you know, how you do it. It's a great zoo, I promise. I'm actually so proud of this entire zoo. Like, I can't even begin to comprehend it. Like, I know that I've said that in the past as well about other zoos that I've made. Like, I've made the... Well, the River Safari was my first zoo. I'm not particularly proud of that. It did learn me a lot about spacing and that I make habitats way too big. Um, it learned me that, or it taught me that. And then we had the Australia Zoo, which I absolutely loved making. I love making that. And then we had the Woodland Zoo. And the Woodland Zoo, I'm, I'm, so, I'm still very proud of that. Like, obviously, um, it is nothing in comparison to the to things that I pull off in this zoo, because this zoo is just... I don't want to say it's so much better, but you know, like it is so much better. I feel like the foliage in this zoo is way more on point, and that's probably because the other one was in a temperate biome, and this is a tropical biome, and yeah, for some reason, I don't even live in a tropical biome, but for some reason, I'm just digging it. I dig the rainforest vibe. I can't help it with all the rossy, the rossy mocks, I wanted to say, the mossy rocks. I just dig it, I like it, I like the way that all the, the greens work together and then you have those nature tones in there and then some purple and some blue and green and yellow, I just, I love, I love the way it turns out and you know, physically I can't help that, I mean, I, I literally can't help it because it just, I get attracted to it but then again the thought of actually having to go to the rainforest in real life scares me because I've watched a documentary on the I don't know if that's what the BBC National Geographic about the rainforest. And there are so many scary animals in there. And I have a thing for, for bugs. I am terrified of bugs. I can't deal with it. So it's not the, the best place for me to be ever. Nor will it ever be because I'm terrified of insects. I just, I don't handle that. Oh, uh, but in, in game I can handle it. Like that's probably the reason why I don't really build a lot of... Um, well, exhibits, mainly because I feel like it kind of sucks that you can't build the actual exhibit, but it's always standard. I wish they would do something about that, because building an entire spider cave, that's what I live for. And I don't necessarily like spiders, but that's what I live for. Like, seriously. Anyway, like, I'm getting way off topic already, and we're only four minutes into this video, almost five. Wow, that's, an, that's probably a new record. Not sure if I should be proud of that, but whatever. Right, so now we're just putting the barrier, right? I mean, we're putting on some rock work. It's pretty standard, it's self-explanatory. don't really need to explain anything about this. So uh, I am going to ask you guys what animals you would like to see in this zoo. Comment down below, let me know. Um, perhaps you have some tips or some things that you were like, Ooh, I don't know why you did that, but that looks pretty darn awful. Let me know. You know, I feel like, um, obviously, I am the one building the zoo, but I do feel like I want it to be our zoo. Because you guys, you know, you have an opinion, you can voice that opinion, I'm completely fine with that. Um, you know, if I do something with it, it's up to me. But I am completely fine with that, also for suggestions of animals. 
I'm always open for it. I was thinking of maybe doing an elephant habitat, like the Indian elephant, uh, opposite from the jaguar habitat and the hyena, because you have this lovely body of water. Um, but then again, I realize elephants can just walk through water, but we'll figure that out later. Because I want to use as many natural barriers as I possibly can. And then obviously with the uh, jaguar, um, that plan kind of failed. Because they could climb on top of every single rock, which was gosh darn annoying. So for the hyenas, luckily they can't. And we did put in some glass barriers here, just so you know the guests can actually see in their one-way glass. So the animals can't see the guests, but the guests can see the animals. And I actually feel like that works pretty, uh, pretty well. Oh yeah, and we are gonna build this giant restaurant someday. Not this day, but someday we'll do that. We don't have, you know... I mean, I don't have the inspiration for that right now. So we'll do that otherwise, so like on a different time. But obviously we did need to have some food and drink and a toilet here because the um, closest toilet is near the... I don't think there is one that's a rat panda, so the closest one would be at the night house, which is all the way on the other side of the zoo. So that really wasn't an option. So we have a little toilet here, you know, just one toilet block, but it's fine. And then we have a shop. I believe we have a cosmic cow and a gulpy soda, if I remember correctly. And I think I do, but we'll see it in a little bit because I'm actually going to put shop signs on there. Now I do not have any, um, you know, lightning or, you know, stuff like that uh, here yet because I want to do that at the end of the zoo because I haven't yet decided on which lights I really want to use. I was thinking of maybe doing torches, but I don't want this entire zoo to be lit up by torches. So it is progress, we're thinking of it, so don't worry, we are going to do that because I want this zoo to look pretty during night and daytime. Naturally, I mean, that's pretty important that the zoo looks good. And I can honestly say that this zoo will be one of my master projects. I feel like I'm a real like sort of architect after finishing this. Obviously I'm not, but I feel like that. And I, you know, you know what I mean. Anywho, um, you know, right now we're just placing some rocks and I really didn't want to do this all the way around because then it got really, um, you know, the same old, same old, same old, it's pretty boring. So we are gonna nicing up a little bit. We're gonna use some plants. We are gonna use some custom fencing in a bit as well. And these palm trees, I know they don't look very rainforest, more like tropical, but they actually fit in really well. And I'm quite surprised by that. Same with the elephant um, plants. They're very green, but you see them anyways, and I really kind of like it. And those purple flowers, they're like, oh, I love them. Same with the uh, really bright yellow ones. I like them as well. Like they really, you can mix them really well. Maybe I should do a masterclass on how to actually do foliage in Planet Zoo. Maybe I'll do that one day. If you guys are interested in that, uh, let me know. If you're not interested in that, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm probably still gonna do it. I don't know when or how or where, but I am going to do it. Now, bear in mind, like, it's January now. Um, I actually, I'm, I think, I think, I feel like I can tell that. I bought a house. And I'm going to move relatively soon, so there will be some pre-recorded videos, but I think those will go up during the month of May and June when they actually uh, you know, have to do some TLC on the house. And then I have to move in, so probably the entire month of May and June will be pre-recorded, but I don't know why I'm saying this now, because it's February at the moment, so it doesn't really need to be said that, because it's, not, it's only for three months. Oh well. Just skip that I said that. <laughs> oh yeah, here we are using the same custom fencing that we did for the Pygmy Hippo. You know, just to keep it in line and keep it, you know, a theme, having a returning theme throughout the entire zoo. And I actually feel like I nailed that pretty well. Same with the foliage. It is all like, it's very much the same, which is logical because it's rainforest. And the rainforest is pretty much the same foliage everywhere. But then again, you know, we put it in different groups. Sometimes we have a little bit more, sometimes we have a little bit less. So we're putting it in there and we're putting it to good use. And I actually quite like this little space that we have built. Now we are going to work with terrain paint more because I've realized that um, I actually don't terrain paint at all. 
and I probably really should because terrain paint looks freaking amazing and I should use that more and from now on I'm going to try to use it more but knowing me I will use it like two or three times and then I will forget about the option and just not to do it anymore and that's typical of me so if I if you like notice that I forgot to terrain paint please let me know Again, with any other tips and tricks, you know, stuff like that, let me know. And comment down below what has been your favorite part of this zoo so far or what you would like to see. Also, if you uh, really, really, really dig this video and you really enjoy it, you can share this video with your friends or you can uh, sub to the channel if you haven't already. We do weekly uploads. We have a zoo tours on Monday and then we have the Red Tail Zoo, which is this zoo on Friday. We used to do a lot more videos, but you know, uh, real life happens. So unfortunately I can't keep up with that schedule, but we'll do what we can. Sometimes there will be surprise videos on Sunday. So um, it will be like, surprise, I'm here. But you will be notified by that on Twitter as well. So don't worry. You can follow me on Twitter, by the way, that's safe. I don't spam, I hardly tweet. I tweet like uh, once a month or something, so don't worry about that. It's completely safe to follow me on Twitter. Or you can also follow me on all my other social media, that's all linked down below in the description by the way. It is a uh, Instagram, personal and gaming. And then what else do I have? I have a Discord, I have a Twitch where I sometimes stream. I hope to be streaming more when I actually have my entire setup, which will be after I moved because, you know, um, I live in a very tiny room at the moment and I don't really have space to stream because I have I have so much, much stuff that I like need, you know, books and DVDs and more books. My room consists of books and a bed. That's basically it. So streaming here, um, it's not really an option, unfortunately, but hopefully in my new place it will be. So you can follow me all on that. It's all linked down below. Just, you know, have a look, relax. You don't have to, obviously, only if you want to, you can. Don't feel forced or anything. I don't like forcing people to do anything. So, ah, uh, yes, and these water plants with the aquatic pack. I use them so much now and I really, really like it. They look so good and they fill up the space really neat. I quite enjoy it, actually. Same with all this uh, terrain. Like, I know hyenas, they don't need a lot of foliage, but... Um, we are in the tropics, so I don't really care. I'm going to put a lot of foliage because I want, you know, I put M M animal welfare, I turned that off. So don't worry about it. My other zoos has it turned on, but this one just doesn't. And that's completely fine. Like, seriously, it's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, and here we are putting the final touches to the zoo. In a moment, we are going to put some benches down. And uh, I believe we're also going to put some speakers. You know, because we want to educate people on how good the hyenas have it in our zoo and what the hyenas actually are and all stuff like that. I would actually feel like it's really well, um, you know, divided. You don't really have an awful lot of speakers or, or screens. Obviously, we have our favorite bins in this zoo, which we use everywhere. And then the little benches. And I believe, guys, it is almost time for the cinematics. Just if I look at the screen, yeah, a few seconds. I can talk for a few seconds more. It's always the trouble when I want to talk. I'm like, oh, I'll start an entire story. And then um, I finish the voiceover and it's like twice the size of the video. So that's always a bit unfortunate. I mean, it can happen, but it's still very annoying. Oh yeah, we always forgot the donation boxes. I mean, like, it is sandbox, but we do want those, uh, you know, money just just for the sake of it. Plus, they didn't have power, which is kind of necessary. So we put a little water and power supply in here and we sheltered it off like a little box just to make it nice and cozy. Now I am going to cut off here because we are gonna go into the cinematics. So guys, again, uh, if you like it, I like this video, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye guys.